What's the word on the curve? The word on the curve is work. The word on the curve. Hold on, because I'm getting bad connection. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Got it. Word on the curve is working girl after quarantine. Working after quarantine. Still can give me the tea. What about the girls that didn't work before quarantine? Ain't nothing gonna change. So <laughs> the word on the curb is I went was I had a, a gig. So to get into the gig, you know they check in temperatures. Okay, so you got ready in full drag. I got a full drag and Did I you put your mask I put on? my mask on walking into the club, into okay. the dressing room. But how the dressing room was set up, they cleaned the dressing room out for we can have more space in between so each other. So different precautions now. Yeah. They took all of our cash oh. apps, Venmo, PayPal. You know, they posted them up on the TVs as we was performing. Oh. So people can do like That's touchless. Nice. But if you can accept tips if you want it. If you so don't... in case somebody was a little bit more precocious. Yeah. Phobish. Well, how many people was that? Did they change the amount of people they allowed in the club? How yes. was the experience coming back into it? They did only, I think, half capacity to the club. But the people still paid. I performed with Jada Essence Hall. It was her first performance in an actual club since winning. My feet was barking after the show, bitch. I ain't wore heels in so long. I ain't going to lie. Bitch, we been doing drag from the waist up, bitch, and my feet were hurting. I ain't even going to lie. But I must say, I had made about $600 in tips that night. Even though the clubs wasn't packed, the people were excited to see a show. And we gave them a show that night. So they, looking out into the audience, did it, did it look different? Or was that even like you weren't even... You probably were just excited. I was excited, so I never like even paid attention. But mm -hmm. it was one point where I felt like it was so many people around me that I ran and I jumped on top of the bar and I was standing on oh top of the bar God. doing my number. Did and a bartender named Ricky, I was like, Ricky, give me a henny shot, give me a henny shot, and he was giving me. I took like three henny so shots. So fuck the pandemic, took it on top of the bar. Bitch. The whole place shut down. Show was on the second floor, so if yeah. I would have failed, I would have bungee jumped went straight to hell, bitch. Ah! <laughs> Cheers to that. Cheers to that. Personal, I think it's like baby steps. Like we might start doing shows again. We might not necessarily jump into like doing meet and greets mm -hmm. and like that much of a contact. I think it's gonna be a baby step type of thing where it's gonna be taking everybody's temperature. You have to wear the mask to go to the bathroom. You have to wear the mask to get to the table. Mm -hmm. You can take it off when you get to the table to eat. I think people are excited to get out. Like, but you just have to be conscious for you too. And know your immune system and know if you got preconditions not to like take that risk. Cause I'm not gonna feel, I'm not gonna lie, I felt bad about, you know, going to do gigs and coming back to my grandmother's house. But every time I went home, I went straight to the shower, took off them clothes and put them in the washer and make sure I lost all myself down, lost all the room, lost all the yeah, dish too. I think for me, even to like taking pictures with people, I think the new creative thing is to take pictures with people and instead of taking selfies, we're taking full bodies. Because at this point, bitch, you have to be at least three feet away from me when we take a picture, put on my mask. Wait, but how did they take a picture with you? What do you mean? So, like, somebody else take the picture, and we're standing, like, up, but you're not next to me, and we both got our mask on. So we're a little far. Yeah. Okay, we're so, like, a posing. Okay, You know, okay. but it's, it's more creative like that selfie way. Selfie stick. But because still... now, you know, the smiles and really come in. Like, you got a mask on, so you got to really serve. Like to have like a backdrop, like it's like a prompt stance, you know, and we all posing and giving, but we're not directly on each other. Constantly. And I'm okay with that. Like, if it's gonna be six feet, it's gonna be a picture that's landscape, bitch. Right. But then uh, the reality of that is, too, we need that even if there is like a vaccine to the uh, COVID 19. But we still don't have a damn cure. People are gonna be so excited to see us that I don't want them to bum rush us. So I'm gonna be like, bitch, give me 50 feet. You stand over there, I stand over here. Nothing but love. Or, you know, bump elbows, you know. If y'all get out of pocket, we're gonna start getting costumes that keep your asses away right, from us. Right. I, I will come up as dressed up as a fucking cactus with two arms. Pocket pound, right? Six feet. Well, as a person, I, I feel like what is a word when when someone's very not affectionate, but you know, like I like to hug and like growing up, Hispanic people we hug, kiss on the cheek, mm -hmm. like we just do that as like a hi to strangers or whatever. So I do like to do that, and with my fans and stuff or people that I meet. With this, it's not about what I like; it's more about health and like us just needing to. I mean, you just know right now you cannot be doing that shit. I just think personally, right now, it's better. For their sake, for everybody and they, you know everybody involved, not to get that close of a contact. Like we, right. we can't just jump 
into full 100%. Let's go back to the shows and do how we was going to do it. Like, we're we going to have, you know, we're going to do the show. We're going to satisfy everybody. But we still need to be cautious. Yeah. And if you're that selfish to be angry that you can't get a picture or stand that close or hug. Because you don't know what happened with me. I'm interacting with a lot of people. Like, you like, it's not even about me. It's more about like, just everybody. Right. Mm-hmm. We ain't doing shit. We still on um, whatever. But, like, I see they're doing, like, drive-in shows where people are in their cars and you still get to see the show. So maybe some kind of, like, situations where until shit gets better, we got to take baby steps by, like, doing shows that you might not necessarily get to. Mm-hmm. Like, maybe the artist is, like, at a different... Who the person performing is, like, mm-hmm. in a... Gl- like, what you're saying. Almost like those sex, um, what is it with the, the sex worker with the glass behind the glass? Yeah, live my fantasy. I'm telling you to loosen up this coochie. Yeah. But the sad part is, like, in the most of the southern states, in the Republican states, the red states, they don't even require you to wear a mask. And even me, I'm guilty. I'll be, it's hard. I sometimes it's hard forget. To forget it's, you know, I'm so, it's, you make it a habit. But, you know, like I tell people, like, this is Pride Month. You know, we're going on and doing the thing, thing. You know, we're not able to, Touch each other physically, but think about next year how we can make up for lost time, bitch. Yeah, and just I'm go impressed. in and everybody just just dick everywhere. <laughs> I had a fabulous time, and you just recently did a gig. So what was I, the difference? Tell us. And I'm not gonna say that I was prepared to take someone home, but you know me, I'm a precautious girl in case I end up taking someone home. You know, I had lube and. Kind There's of- the first gig you coming back out. I was from excited. quarantine. And this was the first time you coming back, and you already was thinking about getting dick, regardless. I was excited. In the same token, you talking about Prakasha is your new drag name? Mm, I took Prakasha, though I had losing condoms. True. It's all kind of different levels. Mm-hmm. That's true. You know what you got me? I shut up. Go ahead. A bitch, I got drunker than a cooter bird. <laughs> like, I got so drunk. Let's just say the next morning That's when I woke out. up, I ain't have no alarm on. Like, I woke up to, like, the just people that. knocking on room service. So you had took lube and all that with you to the gig, to the hotel? Absolutely. I do it every gig I go to. The one that I give, the 30 dollars, the expensive go slip and slide lube yeah, that had, could get... Uh, I had the $30 lube with me. Uh, I had the lifestyle condoms, um, extra thin. Extra thin? Mm-hmm. You know, I had a douche bottles and I everything. had like so... You can, everything. You know, SIT. Some of the girls used to come get things from me because I was always prepared. We stayed ready. We were the only ones that would request dish bottles during drag race. Yeah. Because you just got to get ready. You, you don't never know what's the next challenge. You want to make sure you want to feel light on your feet. So I'm running out the hotel room. I was like, I oh, know you was not running. You right. I salute you. <laughs> I Come to find out in that room, the promoter called me mm. a couple of days later saying, Suki, did you leave some things in your room? And in my mind, I'm thinking, yeah, I left my loop. Which is like, oh, expensive. He knows. And that was a good loop. But, uh, so uh, he was just like, I think that you left a purple dress. I think you left your pads. And I have this lube in my mind. Oh, oh, yes! Oh. And I was like, please don't judge me. You know, I, I got too excited and I got too drunk. He's like, I'm going up to the hotel to get it. So when you come back, I have your stuff for you. I left the lube. I left the dress that I had on, like leaving the club. And the so pants. she left that boo-boo naked. I left everything, bitch. Oh, no words of precaution. When you go back out... <laughs> Make sure that you uh, pack your shit right. Pack your shit right. Don't don't get too excited. Like what you were saying, like mm-hmm. if you're gonna do a hookup, you can't just do a hookup. Now you have to do about 10, 15 more steps than mm-hmm. what you were doing before. If you're gonna go out, you gotta do about 10, 15 more steps, like get your uh, temperature check, wear your mask, do this, do that, get Lysol, hand sanitizer. It's gonna add steps, sure. but you still get to the end result of enjoying your night out. Right. You just wanna make sure you take all the precautions. Don't be like precaution. Precaution. What? We can't not on this car. That's another know, street. That's another, one. that's another street. That's another we gotta get back in the car. Get back in. Get back get, in. Get in the car. Come hurry up. Yeah. Close it. And I also would like to say to add to this list, you know. Please add. Add to it. It's already fucked up. Might as well. I just want to add, you know. <laughs> some of you bitches. Some of you. Not some all of, of you. Not all. But some of you bitches. Just some of you. Not all. Have been making a heavy coin because because of what these husbands have been getting tired of their wives. The husbands are sick and tired. Please, 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 please. I mean, please, 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 
put some of that money in a savings account because they gonna go back to their wife when the coronavirus is over. Period. Point blank. Ain't no need to repeat that last. Say it again one more time. The last closing statement. The word on the curve is the word on the curvation. We also have now created this new lane where you can sit your ass down and get in drag from your head to your waist. Not have to tuck and not have to prompt pads and make also another coin. Some of these hoes are doing it and some of these hoes are doing it. And I'm excited to get back on the stage because that's where I th- that's where I enjoy. It. I like to, yeah, that's where I get. My- I'm excited to get back on the stage too. I'm gonna miss about being on lockdown is not having to get up and going to um, not getting no sleep. Like now, I kind of almost like well, at least I get to sleep in. You know, I'm always trying to look at a good side. I'm not looking forward to you know. I mean, I'm looking forward to it, but then I'm not like the ske- going back to the schedule that we used to kind of do. Mm-hmm. Get no sleep the first flight back out. And you keep on going and you don't get to be at your house. Like, I, I moved to L.A. and I think I was at my place, like, I, in one hand, five times. I think right now is the time where we got to rethink what drag is and what it could be. Because it's almost like, you know, how they've been saying you can't work from home. Not everybody working from home and the world is still going on. You so, you know, like right now, you got to think about what drag can really be. Because what if these clubs decide, because I'm not going to lie. Let's be honest, a lot of gay clubs have closed since the pandemic because they wasn't able to receive small business loans. At the same token, I feel like now people are really are like eager to go out it's and gonna, it's going to make them like appreciate a show, uh, appreciate, appreciate the hanging out with a friend, appreciate. So it's kind of like... Appreciate your gay clubs. And we don't take things for granted. Like mm-hmm. where we used to be like, oh, I could go out, but now it's like we're deprived of it. So we're going to be like more... It's going to be an economic boom. And I'm sure us as performers and entertainers, we get to like present to everyone. Right, because I sold out my drag. I've been trying to get new stuff, chair. So she can't wait to perform naked. Ooh. Look at my body. Look at my body. Look at my body. The word on the curb, this experience could be what you make it. You know the coronavirus is real at this point. You, you've seen the damage it can do. But the word on the curb is just to be precautious in everything that you do. That's it's simple. This is a simple word on the curb. And I learned personally after this is, you know, I, there are so many times that my friends are like, let's go to the club. And I'm like, no, nah, I don't feel like doing it. I'm staying at home. But bitch, I kill right now, you know, to go stay in the club. Because like in LA, you can go to the club, but you can't dance. They don't want you dancing. How would you? How really? Mm. So with that being said, what was the question? <laughs> you know, I don't know exactly when everything's going to start opening up. I know other places are opening up. Mm-hmm. And to some people, that might make them, like, antsy. But I'm just taking it, you know, going to flow and hoping and just knowing that everything's going to go back to normal at one point. That's my only way of exercise, bitch. So I don't even, if I keep on being locked down, I don't know what's going to happen with me. You will be my size. And that's okay. And that's all right. Because thick thighs make the dick rise. Remember that. <laughs> Word on the curb is assume the possession. Because if you open that motherfucker up, I'm going to be in there with my mask on and lights off. And we are easy tiptoe tap dancing, twirling, kicking, and spinning back into our normal lifestyles. So if you like that theory, you come back and listen to us next Friday. And if you don't, and if you don't come back next Friday, still we might change the subject. Either way, we still ain't getting no dick during this quarantine. With that being said, the neighbors downstairs, we coming to get there. Please call 555-5555-3555. We will be here taking calls. And please understand that simply charges by the power for her each wash. So that's gonna be an extra butterball. <laughs> Turkey. <laughs>